Hello and welcome to another video from the events calendar. My name is James and today we are going to be talking about Event Tickets Plus. Uh, Event Tickets Plus has some pretty cool features that aren't included in the free version of Event Tickets. In particular, with Event Tickets Plus, you can integrate with WooCommerce. So we're going to be going over some of the ways that you can integrate Event Tickets Plus with WooCommerce on your WordPress website. Let's take a look. Okay, so to get started, you will need Event Tickets Plus and WooCommerce installed. Um, you can get Event Tickets and Event Tickets Plus from the eventscalendar.com and uh, WooCommerce can be installed for free right here in the uh, plugin repository. So once those three plugins are installed and activated, WooCommerce will have you go through a little bit of a setup. Um, you know, it's gonna ask you for your business address and things like that. It just takes a minute or two to get that set up. And then once you're finished, um, you can go ahead and get started with what uh, I'm about to show you. So first thing you'll notice is we do have a tickets option up here after we install event tickets. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go up here to this, click on that. And we're going to take a look at a couple of things. This is just sort of a welcome page for event tickets. Plus, I'm going to go to settings. And the first thing I want to point out is right here under ticket settings, uh, we have this option here to enable tickets on posts or pages. And then if you are using custom post types, those will show up here on this list as well. So if you are wanting to add your registration form to a custom post type, you can do that very easily. You just have to make sure that you come here and enable the custom post type that you're trying to add it to. So once you have done that, you can go ahead and click on save here. And then I'm going to show you how easy it is to add, just add a ticket uh, registration form to any kind of page. So if you come up here to new and go to page, and I'm just going to call it registration, click on this plus sign here with the block editor, and you can search for ticket and you'll see it, there's a tickets block right there. Um, there's also a couple other blocks you might've noticed. I'm just gonna search for ticket again. We have RSVP, which is like a ticket. It's just a little you know, more informal. It's just sort of letting people say, yes, I'm coming or no, I'm not. There's no money involved like there would be with a ticket. And then there's also an attendee list. So this will just kind of show on the front end who has already bought a ticket. Kind of a neat little feature here. We're gonna focus mainly on the tickets portion here. So if we go ahead and click on add a ticket, I'm just gonna, you know, say going, I don't know, whatever, $5. Let's say it's unlimited capacity. It's gonna go on sale on Friday and, and be on sale until the 30th. Maybe it's some kind of Black Friday sale or something, who knows? And then if you go to attendee collection, you have a few options here. So the default is it doesn't collect any attendee information. They just purchase a ticket and you know, WooCommerce will collect some information, but event tickets won't, or you can choose to allow or require individual attendee collection. So I'm gonna choose require. And first you have to click create ticket, and then we'll be able to click on this add button here. And so by default, it's gonna collect their name and email address when they go to buy a ticket, but you can add more fields over here. You can add text fields, radio checkbox. So maybe you wanna do a radio that says over 18. And the options are yes and no. And so if you want to collect, you know, that kind of information, who's over 18, who's not, or you just want to add a text option and, you know, just call out what is your age, just say age, yeah, and they have to type in their age. Whatever you want to do there, lots of different options. You can collect their telephone, uh, URL, birth date, um, and of course, just a text field to, to collect kind of whatever random information you want. Um, just make sure you click save changes here. And then I'm going to publish this page and we're going to go take a look at the front end here. Okay, uh, it says tickets will be available on the 18th. So let me change that because I want to see this ticket form. I should have chosen today. Um, come in here, click on this and choose today, which I believe is Thursday. What is today? Let's just say Wednesday. Update. Okay. Make sure this took. All right, so let's go ahead and view this. Okay, much better. So now we have a ticket that can actually be purchased. Uh, it's $5 unlimited. I'll add this um, and I'm gonna click on get tickets. Now, um, if you've used WooCommerce before, some of this will look familiar. This is a pretty standard looking WooCommerce uh, cart page. And then I'll proceed to checkout. And here's the checkout page. Now here's information that we wanted to collect. Like I said, name and email by default, but we wanted to choose, or we wanted them to choose if they're 18 or over. And then we'll say 34, Steve, whatever, fill that out. Uh, save and checkout. 
um, you can enable various different methods for um, payment collection, which is one thing I want to talk about in this video. Uh, with event tickets, you can connect with, to Stripe and PayPal, and you don't get to connect with WooCommerce with the free version of event tickets. You just get either Stripe or PayPal, and we have sort of our own checkout system that you go through. But if you're using Event Tickets Plus, uh, one of the great benefits of that is the ability to integrate with WooCommerce. So not only do you get this familiar WooCommerce checkout that we just saw, it also opens up your payment gateway options. You no longer uh, are limited to Stripe or PayPal. If you're familiar at all with WooCommerce, then you know that there are a lot of different payment gateway um, options. So if you come to the Payments tab under WooCommerce and then come down here to Discover Other Payment Providers, you will see... There's a lot of options. Square is the popular one. Maybe you know, maybe you already use Square. You, you, maybe you have a retail store and you have a Square account. It'd be nice if you could, you know, just use the same Square account or use another Square account because you're already familiar with how Square works. Um, but there's also, you know, Braintree, another popular one. There's some of these payment methods that are not very popular in the U.S., but there are places in the world that can't use Stripe or PayPal, and so they need some of these other options. So. In my opinion, probably one of the biggest benefits of Event Tickets Plus is the ability to integrate with WooCommerce, which gives you all these different payment gateway options. So um, definitely check this out and see if your favorite payment option is available. I just saw they, they added Amazon Pay. I think that's kind of a new thing. Authorize.net, that's been around for forever. Real, real popular. So yeah, there you go. So pretty easy. Uh, you'll notice that we didn't need any sort of event plugin although event tickets obviously does play very well with uh, the events calendar and the events calendar pro. So highly recommend checking those out. If you want to create more uh, of an event and calendar kind of website, but if you don't need that, you just need some way to, you know, let people register for your thing and, and buy a ticket. Um, you can use event tickets, event tickets plus without, without using any other calendar plugins. You can drop it on any post, any page, any custom post type. Uh, it's pretty versatile. So, um, I hope you found that uh, video useful, guys, and um, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.